Okay, welcome back. This is Mr. Hassan's Mass Channel, and I'm now answering question number five from the May June 2019 Cambridge 9709 Pure Mathematics Paper 1 3. And from um, this is also a question from uh, my end of topic worksheet on series um, from my P1 collection from Cambridge. This is question number seven from that particular worksheet, um, worksheet number nine on series. And this question is about these two heavyweight boxers who decide that they would be more successful if they competed in a lower weight class so for each boxer this would require a total weight loss of 13 kilograms at the end of week one they each have recorded a weight loss of one kilogram and they both find that in each of the following weeks their weight loss is slightly less than the week before boxer a's weight loss in week two is 0.98 kilograms it is given that his weekly weight loss follows an arith arithmetic progression so arithmetic progression, write down an expression for his total weight loss after X weeks. Okay, so now, <coughs> so this boxer in his first week, he loses one kilogram. In his second week, he loses 0 0.98 kilograms. So the amount that he loses each week is reducing and it's an arithmetic progression, so the third week is going to be 0 0.96 kilograms. You can see every time it's going down by 0 0.02. Okay, so arithmetic progression, so this is what's called the common difference. Okay, and we want to find um, the total amount of weight he loses over the X weeks. X weeks. All right, so when we're dealing with series, first we've got to determine whether it's an arithmetic or a geometric series. Now, in this case... They told us it's an arithmetic series. So what should we bring to mind? We should bring to mind the formula for arithmetic series, which is the nth term is a plus n minus 1 times d. And the sum of the first n terms is given by n over 2 times 2a plus n minus 1 times d. These formula are in the formula sheet that you will be given. After a few, you know, bit of practice, you will basically know them anyway. But they're in the formula sheet. So we got to the, the big thing of this question, the main thing where people have mistakes is they don't know which of the formula to use in the context of the question asked. Now here they ask for the total weight loss after eight, X weeks. So if we use this formula here, it will tell us the weight loss in the X week. That's not what we're looking for. We're looking for the total weight loss altogether over these X weeks. So we're going to be dealing with the formula, which is dealing with the sum, which is SN. That's what we have to realize here. Okay, so now to find the sum, we need to have the information like, for example, A, which is the first term, which is 1. We need D, which is the common difference, which is how much it goes down by each time, which is negative, 0 0.02. And the term we're looking for is the sum up to the X term. So X to N equals X. So we can just basically substitute these into the formula. So the sum of the first X terms will be given by n over 2 which is x over 2 times 2 times a 2 times 1 plus n minus 1 n minus 1 is x minus 1 times d which is negative 0 0.02 and that will give us our answer so i'm going to just simplify it i think if you wrote it like that it's only worth, worth one mark i think even writing this would give you the mark but i'm going to simplify it because we we might need it simplified for further parts of the question so basically, let's just um, deal with what's inside the bracket first. So x over 2, 2 times 1 is 2. Then you have a negative 0 0.02 times x, which is negative 0.02x. And negative 0 0.02 times negative 1, which is plus 0 0.02. And then we can multiply everything by x over 2. So that will give us x minus 0.01x. Um, and x squared, sorry, because you're multiplying by x, and then it will give us plus 0 0.01. So if you simplify this, um, you end up with, um, that's going to be times x as well, sorry, x over 2 times that, 0.01x. So you have x plus 0.01x, which is 1.01x minus 0.01x squared. So that's the sum of the first x terms and the answer to part 1. Okay, in terms of x, as it says. All right? Of course, it's going to be in terms of x. Okay, so now it says he reaches his 13 kilogram target during week n. Use your answer to find the value of n. 
So use this answer. So we want to find when, you know, x is, when basically the sum of x is equal to 13. Okay, so if we find what x is for that, and then we can work out what n is. 1.01x minus 0.01x minus 0.01x squared. We want to find the value of x when this is equal to 13. Okay, so we can get rid of the fractions. The decimals multiply everything by 100. That will give you 101 x minus x squared equals 1300 multiply everything by 100 and there then we'll end up with x squared minus 101 x plus 1300 equals zero so we have to solve the equation x squared minus 101 x plus 1300 equals zero now this i don't think it factorizes and even if it did factorize it would be a lot of hassle to to find that the factor so what i'm going to do is i'm going to use the calculator well first i'll set it up with using the quadratic formula okay so in in m in these questions you need to show your your steps you can't just write the answers down like put this in in equation form in your calculator and write the answers down you will definitely lose marks okay you have to show the method you use to find the value of x in this quadratic equation so here i would i would write down the quadratic formula minus b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac all over 2a now quoting the formula is not enough actually for you to get the marks you have to use it properly so i'll, I'll show what a, a is 1 the coefficient of x squared b is negative 101 the coefficient of x and c is a constant 1300 so we can say x equals minus b so it's minus minus 101 which is positive 101 plus or minus the square root of b squared which is 101 squared minus 4 because you're going to have minus it doesn't matter if it's negative, it's going to be squared, it's going to end up as positive anyway. Minus 4 times 1 times 1300. Okay, even here, it was, it was like a minus and a minus, which gave us a plus anyway, right? But you can write it like this, no problem. So that's all over 2 times a, 2 times 1, which is 2. Okay, so now, once you've written this down, that's okay. You've shown your steps. So we can use the calculator, and we can just put this in our calculator so we can say minus well it's going to be 101 plus we'll start with the plus the square root of and you're going to have 101 squared minus 4 times 1 times 1300 divided by 2 times 1 which is 2 that gives us one answer comes out as x equals 85.8588 x equals 85 point um what was it 8588 and the other answer because we have to also consider when it says negative there so we put minus in front of that plus instead of that plus sorry so that minus is replaced that plus is replaced with that minus and it gives you 15.1411 15.1411 so basically these two values of x are solutions to this equation now, which is, the equa which is the solution that we are going to accept? Well, we can see that, you know, he, the, this equation gives you basically this, this expression that we found gives you 13 for these two values of x, all right? Now, of course, once he reaches this target, he's going to stop doing what he's doing to reduce weight, and he's going to keep on that weight, all right? His, that's his weight he wants to stay at. So, of course, he's not going to carry on going and you know losing weight until the 85th week and you know obviously this is going to be a quadratic equation it's going to go, probably go below and then come back up again until it reaches that same thing so this part of the curve doesn't really make sense to us okay so we're just going to basically um, choose the value of x which gives us what we need for the lower value okay so in this case we're going to choose x equals 15.1411 Right, we want to work out what the value of n is, which is basically the week in which he reaches his target weight. So it's going to be in which week? Well, what does this mean? Let's look at this very carefully. So these wordings of these questions, you have to be very careful about. A lot of people get confused. So if you look at it, it says um, at the end of week one, at the end of week one, this is the loss that they have you know they've had one one kilogram loss at the end of week one so 
the total sum of their losses of their weights by the end of week 15 won't have reached 13 kilograms. Why? Because it reaches 13 kilograms when x equals 15 point something. Okay, so that's not at the end of week 15 that he will reach his his target weight. It's going to be the end of the next week, which is the end of the 16th week. So that means during the 16th week, he's going to reach his target. Okay, so it says 15.1, don't round down to 15, round up to 16. And because the question says at the end of that week, he reaches that target. So during week 15, he won't have reached his target because it's past week 15 that he reaches his target, which will be in the 16th week. Okay, so during the 16th week, he, he reached his target. By the end of week 16, he will have reached a, a weight, which is um, more than 13 kilograms. So his target will be reached within week 16. So n equals 16. It's very important for you to understand that a lot of people will write 15 as an answer thinking it's during week 15 that he's going to reach his target. No, by the end, this means that by the end of week 15, his total weight loss will be, okay, less than 13 because when it's 15.1, he's going to reach 13. Okay, so that means by the end of week 15, okay, he's going to have not reached his weight loss that he requires. It's going to be the end of week 16 that he's going to reach it. Okay, so um, a little point that's very important for us to understand, as I said. Okay, now for part three of the same question. It says, boxer B, the different boxer, um, he has a weight loss in week two. In week one, of course, it was one kilogram for both of them. In week two, his weight loss is 0 0.92. However, his weight loss follows a different pattern. It's a geometric progression, all right? And we've got to find his total weight loss after 20 weeks and show that he can never reach his target according to this model so now um if we think about we've got to find the total weight loss after 20 weeks so again we've got to find the total of all these but this is not a arithmetic progression now for geometric progressions you have the nth term is a times r to the power of n minus one and the sum of the first n terms is a times uh, one minus r to the power of n over one minus r can you use this formula when the va the, com the common difference, the common ratio, sorry, is um, less than one in its magnitude, which it is here because um, the common ratio is found by dividing a term by the term before it. So 0 0.92 divided by one is 0 0.92. So to get to the third term, for example, we've got to mul multiply 0 0.92 by itself. Okay, so you keep multiplying this by itself. So R equals 0 0.92, A equals one, as we learned in the f first part of the question. So we need the sum of the first 20 terms. So I'm going to have 1 times 1 minus r, which is 0 0.92 to the power of 20, all over 1 minus r, which is 1 minus 0 0.92. So that should give me the sum of the first 20 terms. Okay, so if I take that, I have basically 1 minus 0 0.92 to the power of 20 divided by 1 minus 0 0.92 and that gives us 10.141 10.1413 dot 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 so therefore we can say it's going to be um, 20, uh, after 20 weeks the sum of the first 20 uh, weight losses is going to be 10.1 kilograms okay so there's the answer to part uh, three the first part of part three then it says and show that he can never reach his target that means you know the number is going to get less and less and less and less and we're going to show that the sum of adding them all together the sum to infinity it's called um will never reach 13 which is the target the, th the target was 13 kilograms so we know the the formula for the sum to infinity which was also given to us in the formula book is a first term over one minus r so we can see here the sum to infinity is going to be a, which is 1 over 1 minus 0 0.92, which is r. And that should give us the sum to infinity. So we're going to have 1 over, oops, 1 over 1 minus 0 0.92, which gives us 25 over 2, which is 12.5. So that's 12.5 kilograms is a sum to infinity okay so we can see that that's um, the sum will approach 12.5 it will never ever reach 12.5 it will always be below 
um, 12.5. So we can say as the sum to infinity is equal to 12.5 kilograms, therefore the target the target weight of 13 kilograms will never be achieved. Will never be achieved using this model. Using this model. Okay, so you, with this model, it will never actually get to that weight loss according to this mathematical model that we have decided to use. Okay, so there we have the answer. Um, to part three of this question okay so that's the sum to the first 20 terms and this is the reasoning behind the other part about the sum to infinity so that concludes this question on series um, which is from the may june 2019 paper is question number i think five from that and it's also question number seven from my endotopic worksheet on series and topic worksheet for my p1 cambridge collection um other questions from this particular paper here can be found in the playlist that will appear in this top corner right and other questions from the worksheet endotopic worksheet number nine can be found in the playlist that will appear down here at the end of this video um you can watch other questions dealing with series in general from p1 in this playlist that will appear and you can subscribe to my channel by clicking on the link that will appear in this region. Um, thank you for watching and see you soon.